So the second stop on my cycle tour of Copenhagen, which as you can see is a pretty chilled cycle, it's very nice, um, is the National Gallery. So I'm just going to go inside, I think I'm allowed to take the camera in and give you a little show of the national art that's held here. So welcome to the National Gallery of Denmark. This is uh, the main art museum in Denmark. And it's a lot of turmoil going on because we are <laughs> rebuilding some exhibitions right now. So, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. Anyway, uh, upstairs we have the collections. Right now we have just reopened uh, our collections of Danish and Nordic art until 1900. And uh, later this autumn we will open our collection of European art from 1300 to 1800. And next year we will open our large collections of modern and contemporary art, which will be in the new wing, which is this wing. And uh, I wanted to ask you, do, is it true that Bob Dylan exhibited his work here? Actually, his exhibition uh, ended in April this year. He had a large exhibition called the Brazil Series, which was a compilation of uh, quite new paintings that he had painted uh, visiting Brazil. Um, what a success. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so this is called the Sculptor Street and as you can see it's 25 metres high with glass ceilings. So in the night times here in Copenhagen you'd get some of the brilliant, brilliant light that stays until 11pm. Alright, we're now standing in Sculptor Street uh, which is this intersection between uh, the old museum building and the new wing which was uh, which opened in 1998 and it is created by the Danish Italian architect Anna Maria India. And this particular area is, is quite huge right now. We are preparing a new exhibition by the Danish artist Foss uh, and uh, various art, other artists have occupied this area. It's 2,000 square meters altogether. There's 20 meters to the to the roof, uh, and this is all an area that we rent out for, for special events. Uh, it's quite popular. Um, uh, it's quite a, a difficult area to exhibit in, however, we choose particularly artists who, who works with installation or, or more or less monument, monumental artworks that really fits into this, this quite problematic area, I would tell you. It's quite beautiful. Uh, it is the architect built it as a sort of open space that somehow should signal signal both inside and outside and one at the same time. Uh, this is the whole idea about the, this particular area. Um, That's great, yeah. Down here we have the stage uh, where we, we host various uh, kind of arrangements. Uh, Concerts, uh, speaks, whatsoever. We uh, have quite a few big uh, presentations on uh, the stage every year. I'm standing here in um, their most recent permanent collection that they've just reopened, which is Danish art from the 1750s uh, to the 1900s, and it's a huge undertaking. It's the first and only um, ex exhibition and collection of the, all of this artwork and, and, and you know it's a historical feat but what they did was they invited a, a collection of Danish musicians to come, contemporary Danish musicians, to come walk around the collection and see which artworks they took to and the ones that they took to they asked them to write a new piece of music of, that was inspired by the art. So in May, the first piece of music was created and it's based on Nicholas Abelgaard's four paintings. And they came here and did a show. And now what happens to that piece of music is it gets entered into the app, um, which you can download for free when you come here and listen to it and come and look at the piece of work. Um, they also have iPods here, which you can borrow for free in case you don't <laughs> subscribe to Apple. Um, so you can come listen to a piece of art that was inspired by this piece of art. So it's all about collaboration between two different types of art. It's a designer and, a, and a, an artist that have gone to, uh, together on this entire project. And they have had completely free hands to redesign the, the cafe here in the museum. And uh, they came up with this concept with the... Uh, 
entire new interior and on this particular ceiling, uh, which has been quite a, a challenge to sort of incorporate here in the scene, but it works pretty fine. And in the evening time, there will be uh, numerous reflections outside in the park. So that will, I mean, this is, you can see there's, there's light inside this ceiling. And in nighttime, when it's dark outside, you will see numerous reflections outside and inside uh, from, from the window. So it's quite and who, sorry, do you mind saying who the designer? The what? designer is Peter Lassen. He's the founder of Montana Design, which is uh, uh, quite a big uh, design uh, firm here in Denmark. And uh, the artist is Björn Norgel, uh, who's uh, perhaps one of the biggest artists today in, in, in Danish art. He's a sculpturist, he's a painter, he's... Uh, and he works usually in, in he usually works cross over between various artistic forms, uh, performance, sculpture, installation, pictorial art, etc. So, as you can see behind me, there is the banner for the Music Made by Art uh, collaboration that I was just talking about. Uh, I think it's a really cool thing. As expected, the National Gallery for Denmark is pretty chic, pretty aesthetic, pretty on with the technology, uh, great architecture. Um, I really liked the sculpture street on the inside. I thought that was a great space. So I'm going to leave it here.